Sorry, it's a center. There was an ongoing discussion about change and how it's expensive, how it, 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 how much it costs to change. And my my argument to this is is this: change doesn't have to cost a thing because change is ultimately a mindset, right? There's a decision that we need to make to change whenever we want to change something, and tragically enough most of us do not make a decision to change now do i understand and appreciate that sometimes there is a there could be a financial investment in the change absolutely absolutely if you want to elicit the expertise or the service of somebody in the field that you want to get in if you want to hire a mentor or a coach or something like that and for sure and just the same as if you want to get your woodwork changed in your house there's going to be a, probably a cost that goes with that too there's going to be an investment if you want to get new screen doors or new windows put in your house there's going to probably be an investment that goes in that such is the nature of things because if somebody's in business and you have a service and you provide it we all got to put roofs over our head and we all got to put food on the table all right what i think is so tragic though is sometimes and, and this is really what i want to share with any of you who are wrestling over this concept of change and if you're getting stuck on the the prospect of a cost, a financial cost, a financial investment to help you change, be really honest with yourself about what it's costing you now and what it's going to cost you long term. What do I mean by that? I'll give you an example. The other day I was talking with somebody about growing their business and they have a goal of earning, let's say it was $8,000 a month. And they're currently making maybe about $2,000 a month. They've been making $2,000 a month for an ongoing period of time because they've been doing the same thing over and over again. And so the practices and procedures that they've been doing produce without fail consistently $2,000 a month, right? It makes sense. We all have heard that expression before, do the same thing over and over again, expect to get the same results. It's not until we start to do things differently that we're going to get different results. Right, We know success, as they say, leaves clues, and we know that that's possible because there's countless people all over the world who do it each and every day. They choose to do things fundamentally differently. They don't just get lucky. They figure out what they need to do differently, and they do those things differently. And I was talking to this person about that and said, okay, your goal is $8,000. You, you're currently making $2,000. You want to make $6,000 a more a month. Yeah. How long have you had that goal for? Oh, two years. So essentially what you're telling me is if you say there's a $6,000 a month discrepancy, it's cost $72,000 a year, $144,000 the last two years. Wow, I never thought of it like that. See, most of us don't. Most of us focus on the initial obstacle in front of us, and we don't see what the ongoing future is going to hold. Meaning that we think that maybe we can put our head in the sand and hide, and that one day we're going to wake up and things are magically be fixed but it doesn't work that way we i just hosted unlock your greatness here in santa barbara and one of the themes we talked about over and over again is action implementation action implementation we have to act and we have to implement what we act on we have to learn and we have to implement and act on what we want and so often so many of us will use the excuse of this is going to cost this much and the time to keep us stuck but you're not weighing out the cost long term. You know, that's just a financial number. And the number is a easy one to play with because it, we can all appreciate de data and it's a little bit more tangible. That's not even factoring in emotional costs, mental costs, emotion, you know, psychological costs, spiritual costs, health costs. Right. All of us. And there's we don't need the, any more evidence to say how bad stress is for us. Yet we'll inevitably take on stress by keeping things as they are and not investing in change. So to sum up this little impromptu Ask Jesse question, change doesn't have to cost a thing because change is ultimately a decision we make. And if we want to utilize the services, the expertise of someone to help us along the way, a guide, a mentor, a coach, a, an expert, a carpenter, a craftsman, a painter, a, an accountant, an attorney, a lawyer, whatever that is, there's a service-based business, right? And they have roofs to put over their head. They have food to put on their tables, just like you and I. So change doesn't have to cause a thing because change is a decision and a choice. And last I checked, those things were still pretty free. And if you should, chose, you should 
so choose to utilize the services of someone else, absolutely, there's, there's going to be an investment fee for that. And as there should be, because there's some amazing people out there who do some amazing work. I invested tens of thousands of dollars in myself personally, professionally at this time of my life, and I will do that until the day I die. And I have never regretted one penny of that. And I feel like I've always been able to get out far much more over the course of my time and my life than I ever would have. And I don't know about all of you, but <clears throat> I would, <clears throat> my, goal, my goal is to make money. I definitely don't want to live my life not making money because there's a lot of wonderful things you can do. I want to see the world. I have a lot of nonprofit ideas I want to do. I want to help a lot of people in maybe more impoverished areas. And I think money opens the doors to do that. With that being said, I have no intention of dying with a huge number of money in my bank account. I, I want to use that money for the good it could be used for while I'm here. So I, I don't know, that maybe that's just the way I look at it. And I, I understand that not everybody might look at it that way. Some of us like to try to hoard things and we want to have that at the end. But I think once we go, there's not really a lot we can spend it on. So I'm, I'm getting a little off topic here, but it's some food for thought to think about that if you're somebody who's thinking about changing, remember change first and foremost is a choice, it's a decision, and that doesn't cost anything. Second, if you want to utilize the services, the expertise of someone on your path, on your quest, on your journey, whatever that is to change, to integrate change, it, there's going to likely be a financial investment in it. And I can tell you that the investments I've made in myself have been the best ones I've ever made. And I'm sure any of you have done that, have kind of likely had similar experiences because when we come from a place of love and investing in ourselves, the rewards are often far more than we ever anticipated. All right, any any questions about that? I have a couple extra minutes so we can run through that real quick. Any questions about that? Thank you, Periscope. Thank you, Periscope, for all the hearts. No? Is that helpful? Thank you, Facebook Live, for the thumbs up and hearts. How is Unlock Your Greatness? It was awesome. It was awesome. Amazing group of people. Absolutely amazing group of people. My eyes were were puffy all day yesterday and still a little bit today from crying so many happy tears and trying not to just lose my mind crying happy tears because I, I still need to keep it together and, and run the program. But it's an absolutely amazing group of people, and I was... I felt so honored to be able to be a part of it this last weekend with Owen. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. You're welcome. I hope it was helpful, Jeanette. I hope it was helpful. Any other questions? Nope. So I'll give you all one more minute to type any questions that there might be. And why. How does change happen when you feel money is an obstacle? How does change happen when you feel money is an obstacle? That's a good question. So what I would look at is instead of focusing on money as an obstacle, I would focus on the mindset that money is an obstacle. Because could money be an obstacle? Yes, but more likely than not, what I would imagine is the real obstacle is the belief that money is an obstacle. Because what's going to happen then is likely we're going to be so fixated and focusing on that. We're not going to be able to see any other opportunities or potentials beyond that. Make sense? Good question. Oh, I like all the hearts and the colors. And thank you, Facebook Live, for them too. While there we... Yep, thanks. Awesome. While we wait, if there's any other questions, just one little note. If you are free tomorrow, Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific time... We'll be doing the moral of the story. And then I have a Facebook Live scheduled for this week. And I believe it's going to be Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific time on the One Year 1000 Challenge Facebook page. And I think it, it's going to be a really cool. I can't remember the topic off the top of my head. I have it written down. But it's going to be a really fun time. And we'll do a formal, formal, more formal talk like we did last week with you know, 20, 30 minutes of presentation and some time for Q&A. So please, if you're free, Tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Join us on Facebook Live for that and Periscope as well. I see there's a couple other things. 
Investing in yourself is so worth it. It doesn't matter the cost. It comes back tenfold. You taught me that. That's awesome, Rebecca. Congratulations. I love that. I love that. Yes, I see where you're coming from. I hope you aren't getting any flack about sharing your expertise and helping others on their paths. You have a lot to give, and I appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. I appreciate that, too. I appreciate that, too. And, 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 and any flack I may get, I, I, I think... I, I don't, I try not to look at this flag. Every once in a while, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know this person. Oh, I just wish they would they would get it. But I don't, I really don't see it like that. I, I sincerely see it as, I think people come from a place of fear sometimes. And ultimately, fear gives us a, you know, fear gives us a, 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 an excuse. It gives us an excuse to justify and keep things as they are. And, uh, I know that there's been many times in my life that I've been confronted by fear, but what I also know from fear is that if I don't confront fear, inevitably I'm going to end up right back there in front of it looking at it again. And I would much rather, having had that experience enough times now, I'm in a space in my life where I would much rather look the fear in the face, confront it, get over it and move past it. What if you're in a situation that can't change immediately? Your perception about the situation could change immediately. See, there's always something that can change immediately. I understand there may be some physical limitations that might be, for example, let's say if I wanted to lose 20 pounds, I may not be able to immediately lose 20 pounds. But my mindset and my emotions around losing 20 pounds, those could change right away. My belief system and my ability to do that, that could change right away. My attitude, my emotional state, that can change instantly too. Make sense? Thank you for this. Sorry I had to miss Unlock Your Greatness this year. I do find so much value in your work. Oh, we would love to have you. It was an awesome, awesome time. How do you snap yourself out of the belief that money being the key and holding back? Oh, I think that was the same one that we got, right? I think that was we answered that one. All right, everybody. I am going to wrap up for now. If you have any other questions that didn't get answered on here, please post them. Look for the post this Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific time for Ask Jesse. I will answer them live around this time. Well, closer to 11.40 in Pacific time. I know it's a little late today. Next Monday. And I hope you all found value in this. I hope you have an amazing week. And again, if you're free, 11 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow for the moral of the story. And Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific time for the Facebook Live. And I'll post what topic it is later. And I also posted the schedule for the rest of this year, too. And you can look at it there. All right, everybody. Take care. Have an amazing Monday. Bye-bye.